we should think about a place like the North Carolina Museum of Natural Sciences as being a place, as it is today, of inspiration and reflection. That's what the word muse means. This is the only museum in the world that is doing what we're doing today and started it one year ago in October, in National Disability Awareness Month. I am basically walking around with a blindfold on all day, every day, 365 days a year. I really have no idea what I'm doing in life, so I hope to be here and hear some good ideas. You'll hear the term STEM uh, bantered around a lot today, and STEM stands for science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. And so the idea is to encourage kids with disabilities who are so often underrepresented, persons with disabilities are heavily underrepresented in these fields, to encourage them to go into these fields, to go into science. Whether a kid decides that they're going to do science or not is up to them, but I feel like um, it's so important that disability not be what prevents a, a student from pursuing a field that they're certainly capable of pursuing, and in this case, the sciences. We've got some awesome panelists lined up today. We've got some undergraduate students here as well. And so just to show that persons with disabilities, regardless of functional limitation, can do whatever they want to do. I hope to see some people with like different physical disabilities, kind of like mine, and I hope to see other people who have had struggles and how they get through. I was diagnosed with retinitis pigmentosa when I was 10 years old. And that was in 1981. Whatever disability they have, they should, A, they should not let it define them, and B, they should not let it hold them back. So I'm really excited to see what they have in mind. I mean, technically they are our vision. So I want them to be prepared and be motivated and to go for it. It's one thing to know sort of inherently that a field is doable, but it's another thing entirely to know how blind people or people with disabilities actually do it, you know, how, how we actually get things done. The most important thing about the STEM Career Showcase for students with disabilities is connecting young people with disabilities with role models that are not only uh, surviving, but thriving and actually you know, pushing the boundaries forward. All right, thanks. That, I think, is the real usefulness of something like this, uh, to be able to see people who've been successful, who look like you, who've gone through, through some of the same issues. That's very, very important for a young person, especially a young person with a disability. I'm most excited about them seeing their future and their dreams in front of them and people that have succeeded and the people that they can then become and hopefully they'll be here at this conference in 10 years sitting here speaking to other students. Uh, events like this are very important uh, for new and new people learn about different technology that can help you with your disability. I have cerebral palsy, which means that when I wanted to be an astronaut, that was not going to happen. So astronomy was my way to get to the stars, that was my, my ticket to the stars. That's been my uh, passion. And one of the things I'm here for today is to um, encourage you to follow your dream. Thank you. Let's give our panelists a round of applause. I'd, I'd like to actually thank them. Thank all of you for uh, being here today because it shows initiative, it shows that you really are ready to go, so let's, let's go out and do something together. Absolutely. Today was such an incredible thing, just like being down here and seeing all those professionals at what, at what they have chosen to do. I don't think there's enough words in the dictionary to describe just how awesome that is.